random videos of Tyler Roy. And away we go! Hi, welcome to another episode of Tyler's Random Videos. This is random video number four. And I'm going to do the questions from last episode that people have asked me to talk about. But instead of this time, I'm going to get other people that I'm going to interview, and they're going to answer the questions that you have uh, wanted them to talk about, wanted me to talk about. They're going to talk about them. Here we go. Hi, I have Jennifer on uh, on the show today. Jennifer, the first question I want to ask you is: <laughs> Hulk Hogan said that he would, he understands why OJ killed his wife. What do you have to say to that? I have a friend who looks exactly like OJ's wife. Would you agree with OJ? I don't agree with anyone. Hulk Hogan, he said that he agrees with OJ killing his wife. What do you have to say about that? Rock and roll. She probably deserved it. That's right. What would you say to Hulk Hogan when he said <laughs> when he when he said that he understood why he why OJ killed his wife? What do you say to that? You don't go around killing women just because you don't like them. Hulk Hogan says. He, uh, he understands why OJ killed his wife. Do you agree with that statement? Yes. I would just leave. Leave. I would just leave. Sarah wants to know, how do you think the Mavs will do in the playoffs? They'll wear blue and white and they'll shoot some hoops. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> wait, wait, I gotta drink beer. <laughs> how was it? I would hope they would do really good because they played really good last night. So. That's right, they beat the San Antonio Spurs. That's good news. Sarah wants to know, how do you think the Mavs would do in the playoffs? Six and a half. Now they're going to make it past San Antonio. The Spurs have dominated quite, quite a bit in the past, and they seem to be a better team. I'm going to go with the Mavs. Okay, Sin City 829 wants to know, what do you think of Zac Efron? Do you know who that is? I think it's the person in high school. That's right, what do you think of that guy? I don't know. That's a terrible answer. Next question. Oh, wait. Stop. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. What do you think of Zac Efron? I don't really know him. He's better. Hot. <laughs> you heard it from my mom that Zac Efron is hot. <laughs> what do you think is it about Zac Efron? I have no clue who Zac Efron is. I'm sorry, but I have absolutely no feelings whatsoever towards him or about him at all. I don't like him. You want to know what you think of Zac Efron? Do you even know who Zac Efron is? Don't care, don't know him. <laughs> He's, in the high school. He's in the High School Musical. Oh, well, good, never seen it. <laughs> okay, how do you feel about Britney Spears being a mom? You picked a bad contestant. She's really not raising her kids anyways, everybody else is. How do you feel about Britney Spears being a mom? Can we take her kids now? CPS a moment. How do you feel about Britney Spears being a mom? How do you feel about Britney Spears being a mom? It's a little scary. What would you do if she was your daughter? Dogs. She wouldn't have turned out the way she did. <laughs> okay, how do you feel about Britney Spears being a mom? When she's drunk or not, which one? <laughs> Just grow up. That's all we want you to do. Grow up, take responsibility. Let's do this. How do you feel about Britney Spears being a mom, mom? And yeah, it's all gonna go downhill. She's not gonna win. Most embarrassing moment. Sure, I, it was at Halloween and I went home and put on my Ruby slippers. <laughs> That was embarrassing. No, it wasn't embarrassing at the time, it was embarrassing the next day. Most embarrassing moment. Oh boy. I, I think it was, well, out here on this lake, I was fishing and I got my line hooked on something and uh, I was leaning slightly over the boat and all of a sudden the boat stopped and oh yeah, I went in the water, phone and all. Were you by yourself? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Most embarrassing moment for yourself. I peed my pants in my car when I was pregnant in a snowstorm. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't anybody's. Most embarrassing moment. The uh, only one I can think of is when I got tried to throw Jake in the pool and then I ended up killing myself. <laughs> and then I felt bad about doing it. Most embarrassing moment. Well, I guess the most embarrassing moment would be falling in the lake. Off the dock. <laughs> With your wallet. Oh, you too. Yeah. My wallet, my keys, my phone, my hat, my flip flops. Bug. Okay, hang on. Very nice, very nice. What do you think about dropping the soap in the shower? I think one should pick it up if they want to get clean. What about in prison? Well, that's debatable. <laughs> you should never have soap on a rope. Reel it in? Like a fishing rod, yes. Well, if you had it on a rod. 
on a rope. Oh, soap on a rod. If you had it on a rod, you could reel it in. I don't know why people would buy that kind of soap. Okay, from D Story 99, what do you think about dropping the soap in the shower? <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> what about in prison? Don't do it. What happens if you have to? Don't what do it. it. Don't do it. You stink the rest of the day. You're sharing without soap. <laughs> Touche, sir. Touche. D Story 99 wants to know what do you think about dropping the soap in the shower? I can't answer. Nobody comments yet? No. Okay. <laughs> ain't gonna what happen. Are, Which shower? What do you think about it? <laughs> a public shower. Uh, most people. Ain't happening. No. Try to refrain from dropping soap. Use more soap. Go get another bar. Come in with six bars in your hands. Just don't pick it up. There you go, D Story 99. Don't drop the soap, and if you do, bring extra bars. <laughs> the Wii. Best system ever? I wouldn't would know, but this is a good song. We, best system ever? Away. Of course the best system ever. <laughs> Why? There's no wires. Best game ever? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Why? I play it all the time. We, best system ever? Awesome. Agreed. Agreed. The Wii system. Best system ever? Excellent, excellent. Got one myself. Won't pass it up for anything else. Got it at the house. We love it. Okay. Get two of them. Then you can have a Wii Wii. Name Pac. <laughs> Wants to know what makes you what makes us see color? I could have answered that question um, about two semesters ago, but now I really don't know. <laughs> it's rods and cones, actually. Rods, rides, rods, 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 and, rods cones. and cones. Name Pat wants to know what makes your eyes see color? The fact that they're green. What? How the heck do I? Get? <laughs> I'm a marketing major. From Name Park, we have what makes you see color. I have no idea idea. Probably my eyes. <laughs> processing. Processing. What makes us see color? Our eyes. Why does it make you see color? I don't know. Ignore it. Behind your eyes. Hey. What makes us see color? What? That's what I said, but it's the question. <laughs> what <laughs> makes us see color? That's the question. I have it written down. What makes us see color? Nerve endings in our optics or what? Uh, M uh -huh. MJ NNC, how do you feel about the movie Tenacious D, Pick Up Destiny, and have you seen it? No. What do you think of it? I don't know. Me neither. Good enough said. <laughs> How do you feel about killing a unicorn with a bomb? Unicorns do not exist. What if they did? Would you kill them with a bomb? They're imaginary characters. What about imaginary bombs? I don't believe in bombs. What about imaginary bombs? I don't believe in imaginary bombs. So you believe in no imaginary unicorn or imaginary bombs? Correct. Sounds like a winner to me. How do you feel about killing a unicorn with a bomb? A unicorn with a bomb? Yes. I want to know where the horn ends up. <laughs> Well said. <laughs> How do you feel about killing a unicorn with a bomb? <laughs> um, when that horn shows up somewhere, then we know it's dead. That might have been the boring answer <laughs> I was waiting for. How do you feel about killing a unicorn with a bomb? A little overkill. A unicorn. Well, first you gotta find one, but I, I, I think it's bad. I think it's bad karma. I mean, there's supposed to be some, you know lot of meaning behind unicorns and just think it's just bad karma don't don't do it don't don't bomb the unicorns just don't do it s manning wants to know about high school rivalries well, how do you feel about that like mine was coronado monterey high school rivalry just a good one what do you think about high school rivalries do you have any rivalries of your own yes i think it's healthy competition is healthy s manning 810 uh, wants to know what do you think about rivalries gotta have who else are you gonna beat up on touche I think they're really good. My rival would be Monterey. What about your rivals now? Jake. S Manning 810 says, uh, talk about high school rivalries. What do you think about those? Not today. Uh, local high school that I graduated from has some long-standing rivalry. Yeah, I mean, I think rivalry uh, gives good spirit to any game. Excellent competition. Keeps the blood flowing. It's Jack in Space. This is his third time on the show. And uh, he said he wants to know what do you think about bad service at restaurants, like awful service. Well, you know, bad service at restaurants it really sucks. But let me tell you about my Philips television. <laughs> Don't buy one. I want um, give them a tip. Yell at the manager. Yell at them. Make a scene. Throw your food in here. You take a notepad with you and leave a note on the table for the waitress. Maybe the waitress needs a little wake up call. That is a real penny. What do you think about if your friends dated a pirate? That'd be kind of cool. Arrgh, matey, I love the pirate bird.